Welcome everyone. For so the today's topic for lecture is sustainable development in energy and environmental studies. Basically, sustainability means the development which which would be sustainable. That means that will long last, and and so that keep the coming generation will get benefited from this. And so the so the, so those development which would be uh, long lasting development that they, they are known as sustainable development. In the previous lecture, we have seen natural disasters as well as man-made disasters. And what could be the measure for that disasters? So basically, in continuation of the previous lecture, now we are uh, we come to the topic of sustainable development, and we will see in the later slide what are those development. Before that, let us see what are the objective for the present lecture. So the objective is uh, what is the definition of sustainable development? That means what do, what do we mean by sustainable development in energy and environmental studies, and how can we attain this sustainable development? That is what are the measure for this sustainable development? Apart from that, how can we achieve this sustainable development? What are the different methods that we can use to accomplish this target? So basically, sustainable development can be defined as meeting the need of present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. Or one can say that sustainable development is the effective use of resource for economic development while preserving the environment and ecosystem so that not only the needs of present are fulfilled but also for the future generation. Suitable development also interlinks. No, sorry, sustainable development. Okay, sustainable development. It can also interlink the development and caring capacity of environment and ecosystem. So the measures for sustainable development are number one is using appropriate technology. Appropriate technology means technology that doesn't harm our nature the second one is 3r approach this is also known as known as reduce reverse and recycling reduce reduce stands for we have to reduce the excess use of natural resources reuse that means we have to use them again and again recycling it means to converting waste materials into raw, pro raw product and the last one is promoting environmental education and awareness. The other measure for sustainable development is population stabilization that means to control the population explosion as we can see from this graph after 1000 AD there is sudden jump there is a hike in the population growth and consequently a lot of burden comes on the natural resources so in order to uh, light that burden we must need to control the population growth and that is why population stabilization is needed the other is usage of renewable energy resources the ongoing scarcity on the conventional fuel is nowadays demanding human beings to shift from conventional fuels to uh, those fuels which are renewables like uh, wind energy, solar energy and hydrogen as a fuel. So if this would happen then okay we can have control over the ongoing scarcity of the conventional fuels. A third one is conservation of renewable resources so these are all the measures for sustainable development how to achieve so one would ask how to achieve sustainable development the first is reduce our dependency on heavy metals and fossil fuels such as coal oil and natural gas as an example, uh, for in India in 2012, energy consumption was about 75% dependent on fossil fuel. So we have to reuse. So 
so we have to reduce this amount and enhance our dependency on renewable energy resources second is we can reduce our dependency on synthetic chemicals because synthetic chemicals are formed from petroleum product and we all know that petroleum product contains several hydrocarbon which can be converted into more sophisticated synthetic chemicals so what we can do that we can adopt some of the organic methods or natural methods such as some of the cosmetic which are available naturally as well as some of the medicine like ayurveda and like yunani medicines so this could be the alternate choice reduce our destruction of nature it means includes clearing of forest and natural habitats for human needs as we all are knowing human population is growing very rapidly we need more land and more space for this population but we should reduce the destruction of the nature as well sustainable development does not mean that we should only talk about the environmental protection but we must should, we should also ensure that we don't stop people from meeting their needs in order to achieve environmental sustainability that means that we must maintain a balance between environment and economic sustainability so the other next point is recycle and reuse as many waste product and resource possible means recycling as well as reuse of many waste product and resources also possible and the last is make more goods that last longer and easy to use recycle and repair so all of these points are those points which can uh, let us uh, which can uh, help us to achieve or to accomplish the sustainability development <clears throat> but there are some problems or hurdles in achieving sustainable development so these uh, problems are listed here the first one is disagreement between stakeholders it means in between two different states in between two different countries in between politicians in between uh, two different companies means that means that each stakeholders has different priorities or each countries have their different each states have their different priorities and hence it is extremely difficult for all to agree upon common goal of sustainable development the second is uncertainty it means that there is always uncertainty regarding different global environmental issues and the manner in which they interact with global system the third is consumption and lifestyle often the people don't want to change their lifestyle and this is again a problem in achieving sustainable development the last point is argument over cause and responsibility it means that people don't want to take responsibility of what is happening in the global scenario so they keep on arguing with each other and this is one of the problem in achieving sustainable development in the next slide uh, we shall see a uh, animation and uh, the uh, animation video that will in brief show you what is we what do we mean by sustainable development so please keep patience and watch this video that i am going to share